Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Muck Designs, and I'm bringing you guys my first ever tutorial on how to make concept logos, which was highly recommended by my subscribers. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna get into it. All right, uh, what you want to do is open a new project in Photoshop and go to File New. And my dimensions I usually use are around. Um, 1600 by 900 so we're going to do that and you have a blank page here and what you want to do is um, go to view um, rulers and these things should come up on the sides right here what you want to do is grab them and just drag it until it locks with the center and here you have the center once you've done that I want you to create a new layer and like the color. Uh, I usually like to have a really dark background, but not too dark. Uh, something like this. Not black, but kind of grayish. And my secondary color I want is kind of a really light gray. It looks pretty good. And um, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make um, these kind of logos. Let me show you. Um, the logos such as the base supremacy one I made and Idol Allegiance and stuff like these right here, which um, a lot of people seem to like. So uh, let's get into it. I'm gonna get my circle tool, hold shift and drag to make a circle, and I'm gonna edit free transform path this, find the middle point, this center it out and you can use your arrow keys to get them uh, for the lines to be red and just apply so now you have a circle and I want you to right click and rasterize that layer so now you have a just a regular circle select your circular uh, I mean elliptical marquee tool hold shift do the same and uh, transform selection and then just get that in the middle there. Alright, so what I want to do is now make another new layer. And I want to have to transform selection that again. Make that a reasonable size. Uh, about there. That looks good. So I want to go back to my circle layer. Let me label that real quick. Circle OG. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to delete it. Basically just click delete. And to get rid of these running ants, I just want you to go outside of the portrait and just swipe the marquee tool and it'll get rid of them. Alright, so I'm going to duplicate circle OG two times. I'm going to grab the top one and I'm just going to put it somewhere that I, I like. I mean, yeah, I'm just going to throw it in. Uh, I mean, this is this is totally up to you guys what you want to do with these circles, but I mean, yeah. So I'm gonna put it right here. So I have it highlighted. I'm gonna select my eraser tool and I'm just gonna erase everything else on the outside of the circle. So it looks like that. And I'm just gonna duplicate this and flip horizontally and just put it right there. Okay, so now I have this and it still looks pretty plain so I'm going to quick, I'm going to duplicate that again. I'm going to duplicate the, the logo I just made and I'm just going to let me get rid of this. I'm going to I don't know, I'm, I might yeah, I might just do it over again like this. Okay, so I'm going to delete this area and just duplicate that again edit free transform flip horizontal and just put that right there alright so what I want to do now is this part is like it's really ugly so um, you guys got to get the pen tool I know some of you might not be experienced with the pen tool whatsoever but what I'm about to show you is really simple and will, I mean, it'll save you a lot of time. 
So I want you to just make a new layer. Um, and just come up here, click once, come right here, click another time, come right here, click another time, and then click back. So once you have this, you're going to right click, fill path. Right, um, it should work for you guys that way. My Photoshop just really screws up. Right click, fill path, uh, select color, and just highlight, just select the color that's on here. And there you go, and just click delete, and then you should have this. I want you to duplicate that, edit, free transform, flip horizontal, and try to get that lined up. Perfect. And just merge that layer down. So I'm going to label this horn. So now that you have that, um, wait, whoops. So now that you have horn, I want you to take it and basically edit free transform and flip 180. 180 is good. And uh, let's just stretch it out a little bit so it fits. And see what we got. That that looks uh, looks alright. You can just fix the. Uh, you know I'm just gonna go ahead and fix it now. And it free transform. Just gotta move it in a bit. And. that out a bit. Yeah. And I'm going to transform it still. Um, usually in my speed arts, my logos take a long time because I can't get the layers like ordered correctly, so I keep going back and changing them up. So, okay, now we have this done. So that's starting to look pretty good. And, okay, so now here comes the tricky part kind of I want you to make another one of these horns so I just want you to do that all over again and I'm making a layer fill path fill path color delete duplicate it edit free transform flip horizontal and just get this lined up Alright, uh, what you want to do next is basically you see these um, these lines that are just kind of flowing outward. I want you to take the the horn and free transform it and kind of kind of align it and try try to make it look like it's it's part of the um, the thing that's like sticking out. So. I mean, that uh, looks, uh, looks pretty good. I'm going to put it over there. Alright, so I have that done. I'm going to duplicate that and edit free transform. And I'm going to put it down here as well. And it's alright if you don't get it exactly on each side. Because I will show you why in a second. And edit free transform. Let's get this perfectly over there. All right, that that looks pretty good. And um, since you've done that, just merge merge these down to one group. Let me these horns too. All right. So once you've done that, um, just come down here, and if you look at this part right here, it's kind of just flowing into the circle. It's not really not really going into anything. So what you want to do is. Take the take the the circle OG copy two, which you should probably have, and just duplicate that. Edit free transform, and just let me get rid of this real quick. And just kind of kind of just makes it so that it comes into it kind of flows into this one. And yeah, so get your marque tool come over here and delete that part and swipe so it goes away duplicate it edit free transform 
clip horizontal and let's put this right here and try to get this perfectly all right that yeah, looks good and what you want to do next is select the circle OG the first the original thing you made duplicate that again and just bring it down a little bit um, around there that's perfect and just delete all of it not all of it I mean the parts that are you don't want basically so it looks kind of like kind of like this um, now I am going to get into the sort of tricky part um, it's let's check the time alright it's been 10 minutes so I'm gonna okay you have to go to circle let's see you wanna get you wanna get it so that it's there's space between these and so it looks really neat and it looks like one is not connected to the other but is connected in a different spot so let's find out here okay this this is this is good alright um, circle OG copy 5 just this one over here try and find that you're gonna control control hold control and click it and select the mark a tool in the left underneath the arrow basically on your arrow keys I want you to click up once right once up one right once up one right once up one right once and keep doing that until you satisfied with the distance between them so that's uh, that looks pretty good and uh, then I want you to go back to the circle OG copy 8 and just click delete so now you have that nice even space between them and just swipe the marquee tool and what I want to do now is do the same thing except for this part right here so let's get into this one right here circle OG copy 2 control click and up one this time I want you to go up one left one left one up one left one and just keep doing that until you've reached actually not up one left one up one right one my bad up one right one and just keep doing that until you've reached about the same distance as the one over here and just delete okay so we've deleted that part and it's looking pretty good so far so but there is this part sticking out so let's go ahead and just take this and mark a tool it make selection no wait a second make so a fill path make selection and okay and then I'm just going to delete that so that looks pretty good actually that's too much let's go back there we go and yeah that looks pretty good so now you've done that and I mean on this side th don't you know you don't need to worry about the right side if you're or the left side whichever side you're focusing on more because you can just copy and duplicate the layer basically and flip horizontally which I'll show you guys how to do in a second um, and I'm not liking this part right here so I'm gonna go ahead and find the thing that can cut it um, this one right here so basically just go up left up left until you have found the place you're gonna cut it with and just no oh, whoops and just find the circle that it is matched up to which is let me find it real quick circle OG and just delete it and I know it's not going to look perfect right now because there is this there is this um 
thing sticking out. So I'm going to go ahead and just get my pen tool and kind of, kind of just slightly do this with it. Kind of pen tool, so pen tool out so it kind of looks even. Click Alt and just go back and there. And I just want to make this a selection so I can get rid of it and just delete. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Actually, I'm not liking this part still. Delete again. Oh, it's not the. It's it could also be the. The, the other line that's sticking out of it. So let's go and find that. It's this one right here. Let's delete that. Alright, that looks pretty good. And yeah, that looks actually that looks pretty good. I'm liking that. What you want to do now is um I don't think it needs another horn, so I want you to group all these layers into one group. You can, I think you can hold shift. Yeah, it's just shift and select all of them. And just drag them and drop them into the group one. So now you have the group. And let's label this logo. After you've done that, just duplicate it. And unselect the first one and right click merge group on the second one. Take your mark a elliptical tool and just make a big rectangle and go up to the ruler and just click delete. You're gonna have half a logo now. This half logo is easily manipulated by clicking right and duplicate layer and OK. Edit, free transform, flip horizontal. And now you have, just line this up real quick. Make sure it's directly in half and just merge that down and take away the rulers and you should have a pretty good looking logo thanks for watching guys and like and subscribe if you enjoyed if you'd like any questions or any other tutorials please recommend them in the comments and or private message me on youtube i reply to all my messages so yeah thanks for watching guys